Bill. The Namibian fog basking beetle is a, a creature that's evolved a way of finding its own fresh water in a desert. And it does that by losing heat from its shell at night and, and then because it's slightly cooler than its surroundings, when the moist breeze blows in off the sea, you get these droplets of water forming on its shell. And it tips its shell up, runs down, has a good drink. Pollen helped design the Sahara Forest Project, which includes what's called a seawater greenhouse. Just like the beetle, the greenhouse produces clean, distilled water from seawater. It then uses the water to grow crops. We're evaporating seawater from the front wall, and then at the back wall we've got uh, tubes with uh, seawater running through them, and when the warm, humid air passes those, you get these droplets of water forming on, on those surfaces, just like on the beetle's shell. For me, it's just one of the best examples of what biomimicry can do because it's an example of a, an organism that has had to find a way of surviving in a really resource-constrained environment. And you know, we're going to start experiencing major resource constraints with a massively growing population and finite resources that are starting to reach their, their peak 